Uh, an engine like me deserves a rest every now and then. Hello, Louie. Oh, hi, Billy. Are you alright, Lou? I mean, speaking as a friend, you seem a bit stressed lately. Oh, I'm fine, Billy. Just annoyed. About what? Well, Queen Charlene Cavaliera is visiting the railway for a weekend. Okay, but how is it making you frustrated? Queen Charlene Cavaliera doesn't have a bad bone in her body. It's not Charlene I'm frustrated about, Billy. It's her private engine. Oh, Sir so Francis Drake? Exactly. If Charlene is coming, this means we'll have Sir Francis Drake faffing around us. I can't stand that, Lord Nelson. Pardon me for saying this, Louis, but you sound like you have a history with Sir Francis Drake. Oh, I do. You see, back when I worked on the Southern Railway as one of its goods engines, Sir Francis Drake was one of the express locos. The only thing is, Sir Francis Drake is very proud of the fact that he was named after the man himself. He was so proud that it made him one of the most conceited engines we have ever known. Not only that, he was strict and refused to do any goods or shunting. He ordered us about to fetch his trains and shunt them away for him. It got in our nerves and eventually he refused to do a thing for him afterwards. This made him cross and he went on strike, refusing to shunt his trains or do any goods work until other engines do it for him. Then I can bet ever since he became Queen Charlene's Cavalera's private engine, his boasting and ruinous has gone worse. Exactly! I don't think he's ever done any proper goods work. He just sticks to important passenger duties and leaves us other engines to do extra work, doing half of Sir Francis Drake's work as well as their own. I did some of that too when I was young. I have a feeling he's going to do the same thing here for the weekend. <sighs> to be perfectly honest, Billy, I'd much rather be working with those horrid diesels when they first came into the picture on British Railways. But not all diesels were like that, Louis. Most of them were quite nice and had respect for us steam engines. In fact, there are more diesels who had respect for us than there were of those who didn't disrespect us. Well, it is true that some diesels did respect us, but the diesels who didn't, I will give them credit. Those of the diesels who were rude to us may have been devious, but when it comes to their work, they actually did it. In fact, most of their schemes were to steal work from us steam engines. With Sir Francis Drake, we've been picking up his slack, which I'm pretty sure we will hear too. I know it needs to be done to keep things moving, but even I've got my limits. Um, what do you mean? Well, all the extra work Sir Francis Drake left me within the old days took its toll in my boiler. And I wasn't the only one. Most of the other engines on the Southern Railway left the same way. In fact, we had to go for maintenance a lot more than Sir Francis Drake did. I have a feeling that history will repeat itself here. Oh, I understand. So take my advice, Billy. Watch out for Sir Francis Drake. 
He's likely to order you to shunt his trains for him. Thanks for the warning, Louis. I'll keep that in mind. Hello, Billy. You're looking rather concerned. I am, Daniel. It's about Queen Charlene's private engine. Sir Francis Drake? What about him? Well, with respect, sir, he needs to be kept in order. You see, from what I've heard, he's very boastful and rude and bossy. You see, he basically orders other engines to do his good work and shunning them when he takes only passenger trains, forcing other engines to do their fair share and more. Is that so? Yes, sir. Louis told me that Sir Francis had refused to do anything but pull passenger trains, and he says that all his extra work takes a toll on all the engines. So, I was wondering if you could talk to Queen Charlene Cavaliera about it when you have dinner with her tonight? Don't worry, Billy. I'll talk to Queen Charlene Cavaliera about this. Thank you, Daniel. So I arrived at the station with my passenger train making my last stop this morning and then Sir Francis Drake puffs up and starts ordering me about. What did he say? He ordered me to shunt his coaches. I tried to tell him that I had to shunt my coaches and head off to the collect this chocolate straight away afterwards. But he refused to let me go until I shunted his coaches for him. I tried to tell him that he could shunt his coaches away himself. But, to my annoyance, he said that a queen's private loco does not shunt and I shunted his coaches for him. After that, I headed off to the chocolate factory and to collect this train, but I was very late, and the workmen were ve were blaming me. Me! It's that stupid idiot of a Lord Nelson that made me late. Calm down, Netherland Line. I'm sure David will talk to Charlene about it. Well, he'd better. That Lord Nelson has gotten on my last nerve. Well, I hope he doesn't make it worse for all of us. I mean... Ah, there you are, Netherland Line. Oh no, here we go. I want to say thank you for shunting my coaches away for me. Shut up. My jobs were more important than yours. If you hadn't have forced me to shunt your coaches, I would still be on time with this hapless train. Don't talk to me like that. I am a Queen's private engine and I get top priority, which means you do as I say. There's no way in hell I'm taking orders from a freaking idiot. Go find yourself a scrapyard. Stupid maybe twit. Okay. Miss Apple, shut my coaches for me, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm due to take a passenger train later. My trains are more important. But I have to take my train now. Or I'll be late. You can make up for lost time afterwards. Anyway, I'm more important than you, and I know better than you do. Okay, that is just ridiculous. No, it's not. You and your friends are just too stupid to realize that. Now go and fetch my coaches. I will not. That's an order. You've been doing nothing but order us about. Be boastful and rude since you became in Charlene's private engine. That stops now! How dare you! Don't you how dare me! 
I know what I'm on about. You've been doing nothing but passing through Jay since you came here and leaving other engines to do your other work for you. A queen's private engine doesn't shunt or do goods. They do here. I have not even seen you doing proper work. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Well, if that's the case, then there must be a lot that I'm not seeing. Are you insinuating that I do nothing? No, but something close to it. You made Netherland line late because you forced him to show your coaches as well as his own. And that made him late to take the chocolate train. I had other things to do. Were they urgent enough for you to leave your coaches for another engine to shunt? Of course it- I thought not. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a train to take. But I need you to shunt my coaches! I have to shunt my own, so you can shunt your own coaches. But I, I don't want to hear any more of your excuses, Sir Francis Drake. You're going to do the job that you were supposed to do in the first place. I'll show that stupid princess. Do nothing but pull passengers, order others about, and boast, huh? Stupid thing! Bossy boots. Poshy puffer. Good for nothing, jerk! He's such a disgrace to the Southern Railway! You said it, not me! I just like to do my work with other engines equally, not be bossed around by another who doesn't do his work for him! He does nothing but boast and boss us around, making us pick up his slack. Anyone would think he's got nothing better to do. It's high time that Lord Nelson was put in his place. Agreed. I heard that you gave him a good telling of... Well done! It was the least I could do. Has Sir Francis Drake always been like this? Unfortunately, yes. I do wish he would just stop being the way he is and respect us other engines equally. Yes, I couldn't have put it better myself. Mind you, I'm pretty sure he'll get this comeuppance sooner than expected. Don't worry guys, Daniel's told me that he's going to talk to Queen Charlene Cavalira about it. He told me too. I hope he gives Francis a severe punishment for his behavior. Hey, what's going on over there? Uh oh. Ah! Ouchie. Ah! Ow! Okay, pardon my language, but what kind of stupid idiot made these trucks crash into us? Uh. Oops. Sir Francis Drake, what's the big idea? I was trying to show that I do more than passengers. By bumping some silly trucks into us! Sir Francis Drake, did anyone ever tell you that you have a serious impulse problem? Uh, well, I, uh, uh I'm in trouble, aren't I? Oh, yes. You're in more trouble than you think. Uh-oh. I am so not amused, Francis! Daniel told me that you have been disrespectful to his engines and making them do some of your work as well as their own. You are a very arrogant engine. Your pride has caused a great deal of trouble. Louis' boiler was strained. You made Nedlin line late for his next train when you forced him to shut your coaches. You tried to force Dutch Seracle to shut your coaches and now you bump trucks into Daniel's engines. You should be ashamed of yourself! No 
don't expect me to use you to take me home when the weekend is over. I'm going to take one of Daniel's engines home. What? Please, Your Majesty, don't do this. I'm your private... I'm not interested in your excuses, Sir Francis Drake. You will return to my kingdom and stay in the shed until you learn to behave. Now, get out of my sight. I'm very sorry, all of you. I should have kept my eye on that silly engine. It's all right, ma'am. And we're sorry if we made him cause the trouble. Don't worry about it. To make it up to you all, I'll see to it that my engine gets a severe punishment. For it's out of the darkness that